Alright everybody, welcome to your 11th Ionic tutorial in which I'm gonna add another thing known as the Ion Refresher and what it's gonna do is like what you used to have like if you have used Gmail application then I usually use that and in almost all application these days like Facebook or Twitter or you know what not what they give as an option is that when you stretch this down a little bit and release it a sort of text here comes pull to refresh and the things are refreshed down here so let's just create something like this for our application as well so this is ion refresher page right there you can just google this tag if you want to copy it then i'm gonna just scale it up a little bit and as you can see ion refresher would go above everything so i'm gonna add ion refresher just after ion content and right here i'm gonna say this to pull to probably <laughs> refresh would be good so just make this look like a bit better so we have this do refresh again you can just copy this down function I'm not gonna change the name of the function you can change if you want to then we have this do refresh function in app.js and let's just get rid of this yeah so again we need to create a function like that now again I want scope dot do refresh what it should do is probably um, get some new news articles from the page right there this one and then just append them on the top of this array so this would probably work but I was thinking that once it is appended then which late last ID should we use the one which is already present or the one which is being served by the browser right there so to avoid this thing what we can actually do is that we can actually just refresh this whole list without any creating any nuisance so what we can do is actually just inside this do refresh I'm gonna copy paste this whole code right there and we need this code of line so I'm gonna leave it for now and here we go so I'm just gonna say to then and right here what I'm gonna do is instead of this I'm gonna say right here scope dot news is a blank array and this should pretty much work let's just see if it does and what I'm gonna do is let's just keep it down there and if we go down and down this works like a charm and if I now go up and just drag this up a little bit you can see a nice little pull to refresh icon and as you can see it probably works but it doesn't look like it's working because in short isn't that fast for you know updating their news feed so it might update in an hour or something or maybe in a couple of minutes or 10 to 15 minutes who knows so what we can do is actually just pull to refresh this and new items would be loaded and again if there are no new items then obviously the older ones would stay because all of these items are actually fetched directly from this website you can see the title is same the second one is same as well so this is one of the benefits of making a PHP API out of this one so on an actual device this would kind of look nice so 
I could just probably change this newspaper to news reader which is our actual application name and this one to be positive here we go looks better now so this is our complete final application which is the news reader and again I am saying that I won't make the PHP script which I am using for this project public because obviously what we are doing is sort of not allowed by the terms of service for this website so currently the script is live at code dam slash files code dam slash news dot php and this would accept a get request only from local host and port number 8100 so if you want to make use of this you can just try it out on your you know your web browser in your ionic application so that's pretty much it and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching